Hello crocheters, welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet. If this is your first time visiting, be sure to click on the name Crazy Cool Crochet in the white space down below and that will take you to my channel where you can see a whole bunch of other really cool patterns. Now for today we are going to work on this adorable baby poncho. Um, I'm going to make this in a size medium, which or a size newborn, I should say, which should fit up to about three months. Now, we're using Bernat Pipsqueak in white, and we will also be using a size H hook, a number eight or a five millimeter, and we'll need some scissors. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with a chain of 21. And you want to work pretty loosely. Then for the first row, we are going to single crochet in the third chain from the hook. Now, let me warn you, it's going to be next to impossible to see the chains. So you will have to feel with the hook, so there's one, two, there's the third chain. Enter your single crochet, and then chain one. Now, working with this yarn for this first row will be kind of difficult because you will be skipping a chain and then entering the single crochet in the next chain. Now again because it's so hard to see you might have to try this a couple times before you get get it right. So we want to end up with 10 single crochets. Okay so you're going to feel around a little bit so there's the next one you're going to skip that Feel for the next one, there it is, and enter the next single crochet. For a single crochet, you yarn over, pull through. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And then you will chain one. Now let me remind you, if you still need instruction on the beginning stitches, like the chain and the single crochet, I will go ahead and leave a little white box up above that will take you to the beginner series. Okay, now, if you're having difficulty with this, and I can almost guarantee that you will, just take heart that this is the hardest part of the entire project, just this first row, because you can't see the chains. But for the following rows, it will be so easy and it will work up really, really fast. And the end result is so worth the pain of that first row. So go ahead and skip the next one. Feel for that next chain. Work a single, chain one, and keep going across to the end. We're at the end of that first row, and I'm going to skip a chain, enter into the last chain for the last single crochet, and then chain two, and turn. Now it will be super simple for the rest of this project. Okay, now we chain two and turn. We will enter a single crochet in each space, starting with that first space. Single crochet, chain one, and there's your next space. Easy to see, easy to find. Single, chain one, single in the next space. When you get to the end, you will have 10 single crochets, and that is the pattern for the rest of the panel. 
When you get to the end, chain two and turn and repeat. And you will have a total of 33 rows. And then you will tie it off. You will make two identical panels and then we'll put them together. So easy, but so beautiful. Now, while I still have your attention, please, please subscribe. Click that little red button down below. That will be so much appreciated. CrazyCoolCrochet.com is the blog where you will find a ton of really cool free patterns. And right now, that is my only source of income, is the blog and the YouTube channel. Every subscription, and even more important than that, is every viewed hour is crucial. Um, YouTube monetizes or pays you according to viewed hours. So, um, not only to help me out, but I usually suggest before starting a project to view the entire video. That way you know what you are looking forward to and what uh, you will need as you go. Okay, I wanted to show you one last thing on that second row. And this is actually a really good reason why you should view the entire video in case I forget something like I just did. So, um, I didn't actually forget anything. I just want to show you how the end of that row will look. Okay, so you've got the ninth one in that space, ninth single crochet, chain one. Now you're going to enter the last one in that space between the single crochet below and the turning chain. That's it. I just wanted to make sure that was understood. Chain two and turn and keep going. Okay, now that we have our two panels, we are going to lay them perpendicular to each other. So put the one panel this way and here is the starting chain on the bottom. And put the second panel towards the bottom of that first panel. It's butting up against it because we're going to seam that. There's the tail, there's the starting chain. You're going to use a yarn needle or a tapestry needle with a length of yarn and then insert in the corner and then insert where it meets on the other panel And then just start seaming all the way across. Um, before, we've already seamed that one side, but before you seam the second side, we need to flip this over so that the seam is on the wrong side. Okay. So now we flipped it over. Now we're going to bring the long panel all the way across till it meets that bottom panel. And then the short panel, the short side, we're going to bring it over here where it butts up against the top panel. Now we are going to seam here. See now if I turn it over, you'll see that's the wrong side where the seaming was. So now this will be the same. This is where you're going to be seaming. Right now to start that seam, the last seam, 
I'm going to trim this because I want to start at the neck there. And just make sure that this is even. There we go. Now I usually like to knot it at this point. I didn't show you that on the first seam. That's just to secure it. And then start seaming. But when you get to the end, you just want to make sure that you've got the ends nice and even. Now again with this yarn it's hard to tell but you want to get the bottom corner most on both sides meeting. There you go. Right now you're going to cut that off. And now you've got a whole bunch of tails. Alright I like to use knots just to make everything extra secure. Okay, then you take a hook. I usually like to use a smaller hook than what I've been using for that project. But I don't have one handy, so <laughs> we'll just use the same hook and then just find right there a stitch where you can pull these through. This is called weaving the ends. So you're more or less just hiding and with this yarn again you're kind of working blind. There's another one. Okay, I usually weave it through two or three stitches. Okay, so then what I do is again knot it just to make sure it's super secure. and then cut them off. Okay now we're going to finish this off with a row of single crochets just to clean everything up along the neckline only. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, chain one to lock it in and then just start single crocheting along the edge. When you get to the end slip stitch to join the beginning, tie it off and you're done. Now the butterfly motif is optional and if you would like to add that the instructions are in a separate video. I will leave a link up above in the white space and down below in the description area.